It'd be good if I had mine on. I'm over here laughing at Mark this morning. Good one, getting Jamie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, it is a stormy, stormy morning, but you know what? 66, 67 degrees. Hopefully, we will make it through these storms and things will clear out for this afternoon. We've got a circus to go to, JC. Yeah, all I know is it ain't near like it was 40 years ago this morning. And I hope y'all watched the program yesterday, the special edition. We don't thank Judge Mike Davis for being up here. Frank Stanley back in the studio with us this morning. Bill Dunnabin and the uh, whole bunch was up here yesterday. Fred Lackey told us about commandeering an ambulance, taking people <laughs> to the hospital and everything. But anyway, 40 years ago, a little bit different. My fourth day on the job, we shot film all day over in Huntsville. Anyway, let's get this party started. Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. Join me today. It could be the Three Stooges. It sure ain't the Three Wise Men. But yeah, oh, Matthew, oh, said you already saw a transformer blow up this morning. Yeah, yeah a, little, a little scary. Driving down 72 and, and saw a, a flash on Mooresville. And Mark, I see you're up and feeling good this morning. You're already trying to pick a fight with me over a, a, ver a verbal sparring this morning. I understand. Oh, I got more. Yeah. And Tom, it's good to know that your little boy's going to work as assistant manager. No, well. <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a little bit. We're going to be joined also by Larry Brzezette and Chef Anna Franklin in just a little bit. Her rodeo coming up next week along with the special needs thing. We'll talk about that too. I think that's coming up on Thursday over at Celebration Arena. The green light is on this morning. He's fired up, ready to go. All he talks about is Bama football. That's we'll all I know. But anybody sick and dying this morning, you know what I'm saying? There's just a bunch of them we need to keep praying for. All right, so we'll talk about that in just a little. We'll talk with Stanley, too, about all the good things and how fast this county is growing. It is amazing. Little Limestone County is doing what it is. All right, let's get it cranking. Matthew's going to talk about his race. It's not too late to sign up. you got a week. Is I, Justin coming? Uh, he said he was. That's yesterday. Yeah, afternoon. okay. So we'll see if Justin Smith shows up. Justin used to come in here every, thir every Thursday or every Friday Thursday. for about a if year or two. the rain doesn't yeah. deter him. All right, let's right. see what the weather's going to be like after this morning. It's going to be beautiful, ain't it? It is. So we've just got a morning, a bad, severe uh, thunderstorms, I guess, and tornado warnings and watches out there. Well, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But also check your schools because some schools are delayed a couple hours already this morning. High temperatures today of 72. We're around 66, 67 right now. Now and hopefully, now many of you in the Shoals area have already seen a lot of these storms coming through. We're hearing the thunder now here in Athens, and yes, transformers are blowing, so I'm sure there's some power outages throughout the valley as well. Tomorrow, your high temperatures of 65. You don't have to worry about any rain. Looks like the next biggest chance for rain is going to be on Monday with 70% 70, 70 chance, and that may be very late on Sunday, carried on into Monday. It looks like a rainy week next week, and then I promise you everything's going to be blooming. Frank says one more cold front by Easter. I'm going to give y'all, all y'all all business owners, I'm going to give y'all a trivia question. Here's the answer. What's one of the worst things possible if you own a TV station? Power, Power outage. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderstorm. Yeah, well, good, good, yeah. good, yeah. Getting that in there. How are you, Matthew? I'm good. I'm good. good. How about yourself this morning? morning? Me and Mark think we may race each other in that race you got coming up soon. I, I think y'all should. Go ahead and sign up. Get everybody you know to sign Call up. Calling you out. So, you know he talks a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I know. you got to prove you can take yeah. him. I think that's what you got to do, Mark. Yeah. Let him know you can beat him. <laughs> well, Mark, with everything blooming, I guess y'all think this is on fire down at Marmac yes. Real Estate. Yes, we'll be ready to go. Really are. Yeah. Good. If you need blessed. me to come down there and talk today, just get everybody motivated. Uh, how's that go, Matthew? <laughs> yeah, not too good, as Frank would say. Uh, not Tom, too Matt, good. when's his first day working for Matthew? It starts today at 4 o'clock. All righty. Hey. There'll be a run down there every student in Athens trying to get there to see Matthew working. <laughs> Matthew, I mean Mac. Mac working. Well, if anybody's got experience in eating Chick-fil-A, it would be Mac McAllister. I'll tell you that. He's been eating Chick-fil-A up here since he was a kid, a little right. kid going yeah. on up there. Hey, speaking of the storm that we're getting right Right now, as you can hear uh, outside in Texas, they had hail about this big around. Did a wow. little damage to cars, enough. Tom. How do you do that? Do they total them in a situation like that? Mm, well, it can be repaired, but a lot of people r rather you total it. Look at the holes. Yeah, the Brad Stovall Auto Body Shop a call now because this is when they. <laughs> it's like a roofer, you know. When a storm comes in, every jack leg roofer and his brother be in town today. Mm, that's mm, true. Right, man. Right. Call me and I'll tell you not the ones. <laughs> that's right. The ones that owe me money. That's about. 
I don't judge people on how they roof a house. I judge on people how they pay me when they advertise. That's really sad. On, well, I'm not even going to go there. Never mind. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Well, Gloria is prepared like Noah for a flood this I morning. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. Oh, it does look <laughs> pretty sharp there. Thank you. Yeah. What about mine, Matthew? Genuine Crocs. Huh? I, well, I, you know, but you wear those like every week. So. Yeah. Well, every day because I have about 10 <laughs> pair of them. All right, Noah's got a full page ad this morning in USA Today. No. Don't go see it. No. I saw it last Friday. I heard. Huh? Yeah. What What's that buzz? Is that me? Oh. If you see it, it'll go no, it's a warning. It. I just heard it. Don't go see it. Well, first of all, if you're expecting a biblical correct movie, don't no, even waste your time it. going through the parking lot. I if thought you, it was worth watching, though, personally. Because I like the aspect of how big the ark looked and, you know, seeing the animals. You like, that's the only... You like the Hollywood part. I like... Right. Yeah. 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 That's the only part of it, Nancy. But I like was, picking out what wasn't true. So it was oh, actually that didn't, that didn't happen. true that the ark could carry, it was big enough to carry two, two of each species of animal on earth at the time. Along with food. Right, right, yeah, enough food for, for all the animals oh. and the people that were on board, so. But they make up a bunch of stuff that ain't nowhere near the truth. Right. But so. you would think, you would think if he was an atheist and the director, which he says he is and everything, I would have thought it would have been darker than what it was. Mm -hmm. He had some really soft-hearted moments in that. Don't go see it. I'm noticing y'all have on, <laughs> all the shoes y'all have on this morning. Yeah. They all have Gloria's shoes got her new Ugg rubber boots on. I'm wearing wearing shoes. Thank you, and and socks. socks. Do you know that the new Nikes went on sale this morning? In New pair. York for $250 a pair. He should have stayed up for last week and got me a pair. Yeah. People started lining up, no kidding, Monday. Service in Huntsville has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for South Central Marshall County in Northeast Alabama, Northeastern Cullman County in North Central Alabama until 6.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.04 a.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This storm was located near Holly Pond or nine miles east of Cullman and moving east at 40 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Albertville, Hansville, Holly Pond, Douglas, Baileyton, Fairview, Hyatt, Horton, Rabbit Down, and High Point. Severe thunderstorms produce damaging winds, destructive hail, deadly lightning, and very heavy rain. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business.